Hi everyone and welcome to today's tip of the day. Today's tip of the day is all about goal setting. So why should we set goals for ourselves and for our children and what are the benefits of goal setting? Well goal setting can create a sense of direction and purpose. It can provide us with a sense of achievement and satisfaction whilst promoting confidence and can help us to build um, our perseverance skills. It can also encourage improvement and keep us motivated, it can be a way of keeping um, us focused or shifting our focus back to where we'd like to go. Uh, goal setting is a way of measuring our progress and success. So um, it's about um, looking back and looking at how far we've come and being able to look at our growth over time. It can also help us to develop responsibility and build our autonomy. So how should we set goals? When it comes to goal setting, we need to think smart. So in saying that, what I mean or what I'm referring to is an acronym. So you may or may not have seen this acronym before with S stand for specific. So when we set goals, we want to make sure that it is specific and clear, and we want to know exactly what it is we wish to achieve. M is for measurable. So this is all about um, tracking our progress and knowing um, how, how are we going to know that we've achieved our goals. And A stands for achievable. So thinking about something that's not too difficult or not too easy, but just challenging enough to keep us motivated. This is also um, a good time to maybe think about the steps that you know, we may need to take to achieve our goals. Um, R is for relevant. So we want our goals to be worthwhile and rewarding and something that is important to us now. So thinking about now, you know, we might set a goal around learning from home or working from home for mums and dads. And T stands for time bound. So um, setting a time frame for when we would like to achieve that goal by. So it could be by the end of the week or perhaps in a fortnight or by the end of the month or even a year. Okay. So where do we start when it comes to goal setting? So maybe start by sharing a personal goal with your child or children and then letting them know that it's not just for them, but goal setting is something that adults do as well. Um, you know, we all have areas that we want to develop and be better at. Um, so you can do that by way of modeling that for them. It's also a great opportunity to um, look at your child's strengths, things that they're already good at, feel confident in. So the idea of two stars and a wish. Um, so the wish being the thing that they would like to work on or what it is that they would like to achieve. It's also a chance to revisit um, old, old goals, things that they have already achieved and feel proud of. When it comes to um, goal setting, it could be an academic goal, could be a physical goal, a social goal perhaps, or something to do with building their character. It is important that your child has input when it comes to choosing a goal and that they choose a goal for themselves. This keeps it meaningful for them and um, keeps them motivated in order to achieve their goal. And then you might support them with creating an action plan for the goal. Um, you know, there are a lot, a lot of online templates that are available. So maybe selecting one of those and keeping that SMART acronym in mind. And you know, having that discussion about you know, um, what the purpose of their goal is, how it will benefit them and how it might benefit others. Breaking that down into smaller steps. and. Um, maybe even talking about some obstacles that they might face and how they might overcome them. 
and making their goals visible. So maybe hanging it up somewhere in um, the home that they can easily see to remind them and keep them on track. And it's important to acknowledge their effort towards achieving their goals and saying things like, I love the way that you were being so persistent and not giving up and you know, I can see how much effort you're putting in towards achieving your goals, keep it up. So encouraging them along the way. And um, then of course, celebrating their success once they have achieved their goals. You know, I'm so proud of you. I love the way that you stuck to your goals and you did everything that you could. Good on you, fantastic, you know. And then encouraging them to set a new goal. Uh, it might also be a good time to maybe come up with some family goals together. You know, maybe even having like a, a bucket list of things that um, the family would like to do together, just something fun. Okay. Um, and yeah, so these are just some simple ideas that you could do to support your child with goal setting. I do hope that um, it has been helpful. Uh, don't forget that you can comment or ask any questions below in the chat box. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for listening. Please stay safe and hope to see you all soon.